Okay, good morning. Today we're going to do this beautiful scene of uh, just the barn, but it's really a, this gorgeous sky up there. This is a photograph taken by my son Stephen, who is an artist and also a, the best drummer you've ever seen in your life. He's amazing. <laughs> So, okay, here we go. All right, we have that beautiful sky. Got a lot of raw sienna in it. So what you want to do is paint around the light, you know, get that. This piece of light. Now we're going to create a, a nice uh, violet, a beautiful violet in that sky. Some ultramarine, drop of rose. And just a drop of raw sand will gray that down enough to. Don't lose your color. You can even use a little uh, cobalt blue if you want with that rose. Remember, it's got to be darker. It's got to be darker than it looks in the painting. It's going to dry quite a bit, so. All right. Remember, it's got to be darker. So we'll put that right over it. Uh, I'm also going to put a drop of white in that. So we want it to be, we want it to look darker. And our painting. Come down. Right, as it comes down to here, you know, this is all violet as well, but it's a very light, very light violet, so it's picking up the reflection from the sky. So we'll hit, this is just water. I'm just putting water on it down here. Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this raw sienna on my brush. And just hit that edge. Bleed it out. Give it a chance to come down. All right, what I wanna do is take a towel now and just touch the edges of that uh, we want those edges to be very soft, so I'm just beating those edges to softness, and then just a little bit of a downward thrust here, very, very light will give you some very light touch with your towel. We'll pick up some okay. Okay, so the barn, we have a deep, deep violet. Just, just the ultramarine and rose. You know, you can put a little bit of, of raw sienna in there. That, that, that will gray it down. So you wanna keep this towards the rose. And you wanna watch out for the, uh, 
the snow covered uh, shingles here. So there's, a, there's snow on the roof up there. Okay, so we have this nice straight edge. And then we have a, the snow is on the roof, so. All right, so we got this violet net. As I said, I put a drop of white in that so it would be a little bit grayer here. We've got some running across that. All right, so the, the roof, the roof on top is totally white. So down here we have uh, a little bit of, you know, what we have, you know, you can run a dry brush, essentially run run a dry brush across that line here and there. It's pretty dark, so I want to get into that dark stuff. It comes out almost to the edge. And you can run a you know very very dry brush here. Skip it along. Show that. Okay. And now what you want to do is rinse out your brush and sort of make this damp this area. Just dampen it. We want that all to be soft now and soften that edge give you that look of water. Okay, so the, this edge will be... And then up here, we, you dampen that so you can touch that, you know, very lightly. Very lightly with a dry brush. You know, not everywhere, but leave some of the white. And then come back with some little little specks of dark here and there. All right, so we'll come back to that in a little while. So we'll finish this off, this ultramarine with a little rose. Maybe a drop of quincyana in there will darken it even more. You don't want any of that warmth showing though, just so it's very dark. And you can give the impression of shingles, you know. That's just a lot of a lot of detail in there. All right, so this is very dark. We could put a suggestion of, the, of shingles here. It looks like there's holes in the roof, you know, up here. And that's almost black. All right, so I'm gonna touch this so it's a little more on the violet side. Ultra and rose. So it's gonna be very dark up in there and then it's gonna get lighter as it comes down so we can put a little rose, a little more violet. That'll dry up a little more violet there. Get something there. A little bit of a roof back there. I'm going to leave just a speck of white there. I'm going to take some cobalt and some little touch of rose here. I think what we 
I think what we need here is a little more color. This is reflecting the sky, you know, so we can put a little more color back there. Let that dry up. Before we put the grass in. Under that rim is just very dark, you know. These trees in the back, so if you go in, you know, just sort of wet the wet the top first and then go in with you know very dark little violet here. Maybe even a touch of brown in that. All right, while it's wet, I think we need to I think we need to go back in here. Some cobalt blue and rose. A little touch of that rose. A touch of white. And bring this. Gray blue. Gray blue, so just bring it down a little more. Let those touch. So get that sky a little darker. That will really bring bring it back and will help to accent that, you know, the snow and the roof and so forth. It was much too light. Soften that edge. that that'll give it a nice sense of light you know coming down keep that moving down I just want to get a touch of water on this towel. Okay. Okay, we can dry that up now. All right. So we have this beautiful light coming down. Uh, which I like. So I, I think what I'll do here is put a little raw sienna on the on the ground to pick up that uh, warm light coming down. Just a touch, you know, just enough to tint it, and just a tiny bit on the roof here. just to pick up that light and tie the painting together, okay? All right, now we'll get into the detail. Uh, we can pick, lift off some, um, lift off some more detail in the roof and uh, get one of these posts in.
So that's just clear water and a towel, and we'll just lift off little pieces of, of uh, texture. Same up here on the roof, we got a lot of that uh, suggestion of shingles coming in here and there. All right, so let me get this raw sienna. I'm going to put a tiny drop of rose in there. That may be too. And just scumble around. A little more rose. You don't want it too wet, just the suggestion of grass, the suggestion of grass here and there. A little tiny speck of blue in there will Probably enough. You can take a smaller brush and I wouldn't. I wouldn't overdo that. You know, you don't want it to. Maybe just a touch darker in the front here, but not much. You know, just. Just lead the viewer in there, cut them off. All right, we got a little bit of a fence back there. We'll probably put in and put a little. Okay. All right, so that, that about does it. We can do, you know, you can do more detail, as, as much detail as you want, but essentially that's what we got. We got that beautiful sky and the light coming down on this. All right, okay, thanks so much. I'll stop it.